Why a prominent mainland Chinese immigrant, a community leader, was imprisoned in Canada Part 2. The Trap of Capitalism At the beginning, he was very naive and relied on his experience to write to the chairman of the China Investment Corporation, the Honorable Chairman Mr. Liu Jiwei. He suggested that China invest in the U.S. market index funds and short-term trading index funds with an annual return of over 30% instead of buying U.S. bonds, which help U.S. government and under the U.S. government control. U.S. stock indices are relatively safe, highly liquid, and have returns that are several times or tens of times higher than those of U.S. bonds. They are not controlled by the United States government, and the claims of Wall Street and the U.S. Federal Reserve that the U.S. bond market is large and low risk are actually deceiving third-world countries to use their hard-earned money to support and make money for the United States by buying U.S. bonds. Currently, due to the appreciation of the U.S. dollar and the U.S. interest rate hike, bonds have depreciated significantly, causing huge losses for banks and even causing sudden bankruptcies of banks such as Silicon Valley Bank and Credit Suisse. The U.S. get rich by printing money, issuing bonds and securities, which caused the financial crisis of 2008, and the U.S. has been as a man of exploitation or sucker of the whole world. As a Chinese, he was stigmatized and became their scapegoat of the evil capitalist. As a hunter or sucker, Whenever they had the opportunity, of course, they would not let him go. The financial crises and tsunamis in the U.S. all resulted in losses and complaints. Investors have no way to complain. If banks and Wall Street made it, everybody heard too big to fail and too small to jail. And immigrants like Mr. Tang are their ideal targets, attack objects, and scapegoats. The Securities Commissions of the United States, SEC, and Canada, OSC, have already begun accusing him. They first accused him of running a pyramid scheme, but finance itself is about liquidity. According to their definition, everyone in finance is running a pyramid scheme, including banks, U.S. government bonds, and listed companies. He was legitimate financing, not scamming money. He is making money for investors. Due to the tsunami, investors run and squeezed out, and Mr. Tang gave his own money, the appreciation of their house value, commission for making money for individual investors, nearly two millions dollars of Mr. Tang's own money, to investors. He did not take investors' money for himself. He never thought it was a crime. The Ontario Securities Commission and judicial authorities made his investors to suffer losses and insults so Mr. Tang could be blamed. The authorities isolate Mr. Tang from his investors and supporters and froze and took their investment funds, stopped his trading and business, earning power, and tried their best to destroy Mr. Tang's legal defense capabilities. Mr. Tang originally thought that Canada's judiciary was advanced, fair, and operated according to the law. No one knows that they are deceiving people. They want to go to court time and time again to cheat taxpayers' money. A lawyer costs hundreds or thousands of Canadian dollars per hour. Dozens of lawyers and judges surround Mr. Tang's case, deceiving people's trust, slandering his personality, damaging his good reputation. The grand law and court have been turned into a tool and means of deception. The so-called judicial fairness, legal aid, and government legal funds are all deceiving people. Mr. Tang couldn't use the money from his own house for his legal defense. But white Canadian criminals can use their illegal gains for legal defense and have living expenses until they are convicted. Mr. Tang believed that Wall Street and Bay Street lawyers in Toronto are all scammers. And judges are not only scammers, but also gangsters. They appear to speak legal language which people do not understand to make people believe judicial fairness. But in fact, they deprive people like him 
of their basic legal rights. People generally don't know the truth and worship them as gods, but a system scam. According to Canadian and Western law, human rights, and constitutional provisions, a big financial fraud case cannot proceed or continue without legal defense. Defense financial statement, testimonies from independent and impartial experts, and defense witnesses. This is a stay proceeding without proper defense. However, Canadian authorities and the courts blatantly violated his constitutional rights, Charter of Rights and Freedoms, wrongfully placed him into prison in order to destroy his good Chinese reputation. OSC and the police caused huge losses to investors and blamed Mr. Tang for the crime. BTW, previously China had good relations with the United States and Canada. They did not oppose China, nor Communist Party. Now, China has risen fast, become strong, too strong to be targeted like Mr. Tang.